Well, hello everyone, it's me, Maddie Makes, and today I'm doing a video on, um, what I'm doing is designing a, um, um, obituary, and to, this is going to be a two-part video, so um, the first part is going to be um, designing the outside, and then the second video will be designing the inside, okay? So I'm doing this in Canva today, and like I like to tell folks, Canva does have a free version, um, and you can make some of these things, uh, use some of the elements with their free version, okay? So let's get into it. We're going to cl click Create Design, and I'm going to do Letter, which is Actually, I'm not going to do letter. I'm going to do a custom size, which is going to be 11 by eight and a half. I already have it here. Okay. And then we're going to click create design. Okay. So this gives me an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but we can fold it in half, right? Because so, we want to be able to make this, um, this funeral obituary. I, don't, I shouldn't call it an obituary. Should I call it a, um, um, a funeral program? That's what I should call it, a funeral program. Okay, so with that said, I also have, if you notice in Canva here, I have my rulers on uh, showing. You do that by just going here. You're going to show rulers and guides. And then I want it to show me my print bleed as well, which th that's this secondary line right here is my pr print bleed, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to grab a ruler or a guide and I want to put it in the center there and I know it's in the center because it changed a different color okay so this is the center of my document all right so we can have two sides <coughs> excuse me and now let's get in with the designing all right I already have some items here that I want um, some graphics so I've already uploaded them you can get graphics anywhere, you guys. You can get them off the internet, okay? Um, but here are the graphics that I have chosen. I'm going to click on that, and then we're here. Now, for my purposes, I want to rotate it. So I click this little round button here because I'm going to put it up in the corner. Now, when you're doing your the outside of your program, when you're doing the outside, you guys, you got to start on your right hand side okay there we go and now we're going to move this over here and i'm going to put it right about here and i'm good with that okay so there we have it we have our little um our floral floral design here okay the next thing that i'm going to do is um we need a, a place for a face, right? We need a place for a face. So we're gonna go back over here again. This is one of those free things in Canva. You can go to elements, click on frames. I've already used these frames. Um, this isn't a frame, I'm sorry, this is a frame. Let's just click on frame. All these frames come up. They're like your the frame to your picture, okay? So that when, like I'm gonna sell this on Etsy, um, folks will know that that's where they put the picture of the person, you know, of their loved one, okay? So I want a circle for this today. I'm going to click off of that, and I'm going to put this circle in. I'm not sure if I want it this big yet till I put the letters in, right? But somewhere about there, okay? Yep, about there. The next thing I want to give it some, I guess I need to put some words in here. I'm going for a celebration of life. That's what I'm going to put in here. First, I want to, you know what else I want to do? Let me go back here because I want to cover this up because for me, visually, it, it's driving me crazy. So I just go to elements again and I'm going to grab this circle. And then I'm going to take this circle and then stick it over here. Let's click off, click back on. We're just going to shrink it a little bit so it fits inside of our fit frame, and we're good. See how I did that? Okay. So <clears throat> just so it's visually okay for me. Okay. Now we're going to come back over here, and we're going to go to text, and we're going to click add a heading. 
So when we add this heading, this little box comes up as a text box, okay? And what I want to do is type what I, the words that I want to put on the front cover of um, this program. And I'm going to put a celebration of life four. Okay. Now that looks a little crazy, right? So we spread it out like that. And we spread it out like that. Okay. And then we're going to move this down a little bit because it's a little close for me. Got it. And I don't like that font. That's not a font that looks right for me. So I am going to change this to um, a font that I like called Smooth Stone. And do I have it? So we go over here, we click in that little box and we type. And this is not, this font that I'm using is not in Canva. You guys, it's not in Canva. I downloaded it for free and for free for commercial use. So you can just Google that. Again, it's called uh, Smooth Stone. And I also think that this font is a little uh, small. So with that said, I'm going to boost it up a little bit. And there we have a celebration of life. I might even do it a little bit more. There we go. Now, if I click off of that, we have a celebration of life for, okay? So, so far, so good, right? The next thing we want to do is maybe add some sort of, we need, we need their name. That's what we need. We need their name, okay? So, with that said, I am going to... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fancy it up a little bit. I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to look for a square, which I have here. And then I'm going to take this square, move it over here. And I'm going to pull these little handles and make it go all the way across. Now, I don't want it to be that wide. So I'm going to do this like that. And then click off of that. And, uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. Move it up. A celebration of life four, okay? Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to provide a place for um, the person to put their loved one's name, okay? And I'm just making up names today, okay? So let's go with, we need another, um, we go back to text add a heading and then we're going to put a fake name <laughs> and again i don't want this font i want a font called uh, glacial indifference that's a free font as well Come over here and type it in i've already downloaded it or uploaded it i'm sorry and that's what i want here so now this text is glacial indifference okay and with that said i'm going to um i put put the name in there and then i'm going to put the date of death in there and that's going to be something made up because it doesn't matter they're going to re be replacing all of this information august 18th 2021. Okay. Now it's okay. It's too big. We don't want it that big. So we're going to come up, we're going to highlight it, which I just did. And then we're going to come over here and reduce the size quite a bit. And that looks a little bit better, right? That looks a little bit better. Okay. So we now have our, our loved one's name and their date they were born and the date they passed away okay now with that said we're going to come over here i don't really want this to stay here i want this to go up here notice that that's where i want it so anybody um it just makes it makes it look a little bit more decorative that's all you guys you can you don't have to do this this is just me doing it and i'm going to put that on there like that okay the other thing that we want to do is put the, um, what I want to put on this page is um, 
uh, more text. So we're going to go over to the text and we're going to put uh, add a subheading, I think. And here we're going to, we're still using our glacial indifference, but we're going to type in um, funeral home or church name. Okay, so we're going to put that right here. And I didn't spell church correctly, so let's fix that. And then we're going to go and we're going to change the text color to, see here, we changed the text color to red. I think I need one more. There we go. Text color again to red. Okay. And we're going to close this back a little bit because we don't need it to be like so wide. Okay. And then what I want to do is come back in here. I'm sorry, I should have did this before. And I'm going to go to the next line. And under here is where the person you would put their, um, put the address. So 123 street name is what I'm going to put here. The city, state, zip code. Again, I don't want this to be so big. So I'm going to come back up here. I highlighted it and I'm going to come back to about 14, I think. I made that a 14. I also want this font to be a different color. So I'm going to make that font um, black for the address. Okay. And this seems a little off center. So let me get my center straight. There we go. Okay, so, so far, so good. It's looking pretty good. This might even be a little bit high, right? Okay, so here we have the front of our um, program. And now we're going to move on and we're going to finish the back of the program. Okay, so with that said, um, we come over to this side, right? And I already uploaded some more roses and I'm going with probably am I gonna go with this one I think so so I'm gonna go with this one it's a little too big for me right we're gonna bring it down a little bit a little bit bigger and do a little offset here right and it's in the corner looking good okay Kind of complements this one over here. And then we are going to figure out what we want on the back. So I think we need a place for pallbearers, their names, right? So I am going to add text, text, go over here to text, add a heading again. And I'm going to type the word pallbearers. Uh, and I'm going to move this over here. I don't want this font, of course. I think I'm going to go back to my glacial indifference again. I only like to use two fonts at a max. Otherwise, it gets a little busy. So I'm going back to glacial indifference. And I'm going to probably reduce the size just a little bit. So here we have our pallbearers. I think I might even move this up a little bit. And then I'm going to open this up one more time. And I'm going to go up here to effects. I think that's where I'm going. Not effects. Where am I going? I'm going here. I want to anchor my text box so it doesn't move. I did that. I clicked on this one right here, you guys. A spacing. And it's at the bottom. So now when I go in here, it'll let me, um, it'll stay put. And then I can type name here. So the first Paul Bearer can go right there but this is too big again bring it down quite a bit all the way to maybe like a 14 I'm good with that 14.5 and then I'm gonna do this whole copy copy thing oops sorry I'm just copying name here and I'm gonna copy it 
and then I'm going to go back in here and click behind the word and I'm just going to keep how many Paul bears do we usually need let's say six so here's a place for people to type the names of the pallbearers, okay? Um, now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to copy this word here. And I'm going to paste it down here. It kind of lands over here, you guys. And it's really tiny, right? We don't want it that tiny. So what, what was this font? Let's see what this font was. 28.5. So let's make this 28.5 as well. And we come up here and we do that. You can also just type it in 28.5. And we hit enter. But it's not going to say pallbearers. So we need to open this up a little bit, pull a little handle, come in here, and we're going to type acknowledgments. So this is a place where um, someone, the family can write any acknowledgments that they want to make. Again, we spread it out, get it centered like we want. There we go. Okay. And then, and I even think that's a little big. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Uh, 26.5. That looks better to me. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to add, um, again, we're going to copy this. And then we're going to paste. And instead of acknowledgments, we're going to come in here and we're going to type repast location name. So somebody who, um, wherever the repass is, you can put that information here. And then I'm going to again anchor it, my text box. And then I'm going to open this up just a little bit wider. And we're going to put the um, one, two, three street name. city that's way too big we bring that down to about a 14.5 as well so here they'll be able to put the repass location name and then the address okay so it looks like um, we have everything that we need. I think this repass location name, this the wording is a little big as well. I don't like it this big. I'm going to reduce the si size of that. Uh-oh. I just highlight it. I'm going to bring it down to, I brought it down to 23.5. And I'm going to click off of it. And I'm going to center it again. And boom, you guys, there we have the outside cover of a potential um, funeral program, okay? So again, this is part one of the video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prepare for part two of the video where we will complete the inside of the program. So I hope that you liked um, what I showed you today. Remember, these were everything on here was free. I didn't use any of the pro elements. So you, you know, it's a pro element when they have these little crowns, it says pro. Those are not available for people if you don't have a, a subscription, but everything else is fair game. So um, you can just sign up. And if you want to create your own um, program or anything else you want to do in Canva, uh, there is a free um, version. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, see you in part two.